Hi, today I present you an aspect-driven structuring of historical Dutch newspaper archives using Wikimedia data. And this is a joint work be between Christine Kreutz, Miriam Cooper, Bill Matthias Tang, Wolf Tilo Balke, and me, Hermann Kroll. It's, and it is also a joint work between the Institute for Information Systems of the Technical University of Braunschweig and the National Library of the Netherlands, in short, the KB. So the KB collected newspaper articles over the last centuries. And what they did was they scanned the articles and then processed them with OCR technology so that they can provide a discovery system to their users so that the users can search in their collection via keywords, right? But one problem that is is always challenging to explore a collection with keywords because you might not be aware about what is all available, right? So which stories are told in the articles, right? And to assist users in this process, the KB designed handcrafted web pages where they selected some articles and then write a story about the articles, right? A short story and then some articles and they explain or they tell the following story during that time frame. And our question was whether we could help the KB and automate the process a bit by designing some access path which allows to explore the KB's collection, right? And our goal for this work was that we wanted to create an aspect-driven access path. And first of all, we had to use some data, right? And we decided that we cannot do it for the whole KB data, but we decided, okay, let's find a topic users are most interested in. And indeed, the Second World War is one of such topics, right? So many queries are about the Second World War, and this is why we used it in our case study here. What we did was selecting a list of famous persons during that time, and then we crawled articles which mention these persons within their text, right? So articles about Winston Churchill, about Dwight Eisenhower, and so on. Our goal was to create an interface like this, that we have a person like Churchill. Churchill has different roles. He was a politician and an actor. And by switching between the different roles, a user can see, okay, what is, tell, what is told about Churchill as a politician and what is told about Churchill as an actor. And we thought that different roles have different aspects, right? So for example, for the role politician, the aspect early life, or corruption could be very important. And then we have an aspect, it has a title, it has a short summary about what is told in the articles, and then it has the actual articles, and you can click on one article to uh, be redirected to the actual KB platform to explore and read the actual articles, right? So this is just an interface to explore the collection. Okay, in the end, we fix the following terms, Dwight Eisenhower is a person, then we have different roles like minister, person, politicus, and so on, a politician, and we have different aspects like the career or the early life of one role. Okay, and in the end we have something like this, we can select different persons, select different roles, and see different aspects of the person. How could we do it? So first of all, we had to derive the person's roles. And therefore, we used the Dutch Wikipedia and we used the, the information from the info boxes, right? So the person has an info box and different uh, occupations or different roles are mentioned there. And with the help of the Wikipedia categories, we could apply some pruning and expanding rules that we have a list of, let's say, concise roles like person, minister, that they, they are not so specific like Brits minister, but it's minister and it's okay for us, right? So we had some rules here to prune the thing. Then we had to learn different person's aspects. And basically the idea goes as follows. We have the role politician, and then we can select all Wikipedia articles, which are about a person who has the role politician. Right? And then we can see, okay, which aspects are mentioned. And we did it by seeing which section titles are available. So what different sections do users define and do users write about, right? And these section titles, we use them to derive suitable aspects. 
you might you may be aware that section titles are given by hand and that they are not very canonicalized sometimes. So for example, younger years or early life, they are quite similar, but different section titles are there. And to canonicalize them, we apply some clustering. And in the end, we had different aspects, which are frequent across a role. And then we sampled some training data to train a Dutch language model to take a text and predict an aspect level, right? Okay, we know Winston Churchill is a person. Here's, a, here's an article. Is the article about the early life of a politician? Or is it about the family of a person, right? So, and then we applied the different trained language models to um, annotate the text and use it to structure the articles into our interface. Okay, we observed some challenges when working with Wikipedia data. On the one hand, canonicalizing Wikipedia data is sometimes unclear, right? So which section titles belong to the same aspect, right? This was one question to tackle. And also we wanted only to work with articles about persons, but we had to crawl the whole Wikipedia and then filter them by some automated rules. And in a perfect world, we wanted to use Wikidata, but it was too incomplete and especially links to the Dutch Wikipedia were missing, so we could not use it at all. In conclusion, Wikipedia data enabled us to implement an aspect-driven access path to effectively explore the KB's content. So we could design a system and it worked with sufficient quality in the end. Right? If you want to know more about the system, especially about the multi-document summarization part, you can look into our TPDL paper. Just as a short remark, the multi-document summarization part was not very good, so it was not useful at all. But the structuring part and the classifying articles into different aspects and roles, this worked quite well. Thank you for the, your attention, and if you have any questions, then just ask them. Bye.